Hiya, uh, we're going to do a quick video about the U111300 code that you may be getting. Um, sounds a little bit disastrous. Uh, there's quite a lot of uh, anomalies about it. People talking about this, that and the other on the internet. The code itself is generated by uh, a series of lights. It can be a series of lights that come on on various dashboards, Audi, VW, Volkswagen, Audi Group. The light comes up and it looks like your car is about to explode. It's all sorts of errors, all sorts of lights on. Generates quite a lot of fault codes. Um, the fault codes can be a bit generic to say the least. Um, just coming up with missing message, um, uh, network problems, that kind of stuff. What is... The three times that it's happened here, it's um, it's been caused by one fault, uh, and that fault has been down to an ABS sensor. Certainly on Volkswagen Audi Group, you get problems with ABS sensors, and through the CAN bus network, it's alarming all the other control units, and they're all going crazy. Um, so they're receiving a message from one source, and going back to their mates, winding them up and making them go crazy. Sounds a bit of a metaphor for the current climate, doesn't it? Anyway, the point you're going to want to know is uh, this is our, in this case, it's our near side rear wheel, but it could be any wheel. On Volkswagen Audi Group, it always does seem to be the rears. That's probably just fluke because they're all the same. Anyway, there's your rear wheel. There's your suspension arm, there's your hub, and there is your sensor. So it's a it's a little plastic, very simple device there with two pin, easy enough to measure. Um, the easiest way to do it is just to unplug the sensor itself and there's your harness uh, and just see if you've got voltage there at the uh, at the harness if you have you can be pretty sure that there's nothing wrong with the wiring and uh, I think pretty much well 99.9% .9 of the time it's the sensor uh, a little word of warning with these with these clips you have to you have to pull that little this little edge here, you have to pull that one back, which will then raise that little tongue up, which engages on a little clip at the back of the sensor here. So when I put it back on, you will hear the clip engage like that. So the seal puts a bit of weight on it. So to get the things off, you need to push them in a bit first before you pull that little tab back and pull them off. So push in, pull back. If you just try to pull it straight back, you'll end up breaking the tab off and then you'll be into a whole world of pain. So be patient, learn the knack for it. They do come off quite easily. Chuck yourself an ABS sensor in there and all your lights should go out. 